Today we are at Graham's U-Pick Farm, and I guess last year we did a video here because they have the U-Pick peaches mm -hmm. that we absolutely love. They are some of the best peaches we have ever had, mm -hmm. but since we filmed peaches last year, we're gonna film peaches this year. In addition to, it's also blackberry picking time. Mm -hmm. We have not picked blackberries yet. I love blackberries. Blackberries are great. So today's video is gonna be about picking peaches and blackberries. Luckily, last year, we picked Peaches when Mario came out, and the Peaches song was very, very popular. Not so much this year. Although, maybe Still we can bring song. it back. Yeah, maybe we can bring it back. However, great Peaches. We'll try the Blackberries and have fun picking both of those. Let's go check it out. Now, to get here, the road is like dirt, so just know that going into it. Um, I think we showed kind of the entrance last year in our video, but uh, they do have plenty of places you can park, although it seems like a busy day right now. I think online it said it opens, well, this is a Saturday, opens at 9, I think it said. But we have a I Don't Care mobile eatery, so a food truck here, porta potty over there, and check in is here. So it looks like quite a bit of people are picking some peaches. They look ready ready to go and then also we'll have to see where the blackberries are super excited for the blackberries they do have this little like market where you can buy different things like some jams jellies i think there was salsa there's some shirts over there are some more restrooms it said the facilities area changing table things like that talking about prices and bags they do have this photo op this way, and both sides has peaches. And again, they are very good peaches, so super excited to get some of those. So what's it say? It says peaches, $3.50 per pound, blackberries, $8 per pound. They have butterfly encounter. Oh, they have a little bit. A kite flying and butterfly encounter. Ripen green peaches, best and fastest. Put peach in a hot sunny spot or put in paper bag or wrap in cotton or linen. So, we have two different varieties of peaches available to everybody today. There's this variety, it's going to be red, orange, and yellow all the way around. There's not going to be a lot of green, okay? And this peach is on either side of the parking lot right here. It's going to be a mild flavor and a nice soft peach. But it might be firm on the tree, it doesn't matter if it's firm on the tree, it's still ripe as long as it has good color to it. The second variety of peach looks like this. It's going to be very red, it's going to be firm like an apple texture and it's going to have a much more robust peach flavor to it. This variety is across the road and I have a gentleman in a golf cart that brings people back and forth to get over there. I get asked that every time. They're both just as sweet. They both freeze very well. They both go great in pies. The only real difference is texture and flavor, not necessarily sweet. That answer your question? Is one, better okay. for, is one better for canning than the other? I have been told by somebody that I don't know that this one is better for canning, the one that's right on this side of the road. But that person might just be bad at canning for all I know. So, um, What's the name of This is a UF1 variety, okay? This one is a UF best variety. Um, does that answer your question? The best is my ability. When you guys are, oh, one thing. There's a lot of peaches out there that are going to be really red on the front and they'll be green on the back. Those peaches are underripe and you guys will inevitably pick one or two that are underripe because they'll trick you. If you pick underripe peaches, you can ripen them up in a hot sunny location or in a brown paper bag. A couple days, they'll be just fine, okay? When you guys are done picking peaches, if you want to pick blackberries or sea butterflies, go down the path, take a left. I have staff members to answer all your questions down there on those two things. If you guys want to pick sunflowers, those who are across the road, you can take the golf cart to get there. Sweet. Pound. This is five pounds of peaches. I have five pound bags and ten pound bags. How many bags would y'all like? Probably just a five, five pound. Five pound. Do you want to try any of those other peaches or just get the 
Yeah, I was thinking just get the one. Yeah, so we're gonna just do the ones we did last year because they were amazing. But you can come up here and go with the other ones. Time to dig in. Last year I juggled peaches, remember that? Look at this. Let's find the best peach ever. That from here looks like a good peach, but is it tricking us with a- Yellow on the other side. But I, he said yellow and orange and red are good. Yeah, that's a picket. There we go. I was looking at this one. Uh, a little too green. I don't wanna, obviously if you pick it, please keep it. Don't throw it on the ground. So we need to make sure we can find the best ones. Yeah, that's true. Maybe through here. Oh, this looks. I think the ones that have like a butt crack are are the best, right? Yeah, fully formed. <laughs> Which one are we looking for? Oh, this one. Butt crack. Oh yeah, that's a that is a that might be. You found the winner right there. Look at that. That's a great peach. Good job. Thanks. I think we came like at the very end last year, didn't we? Yeah, we did. So there was not many peaches left. However, we came early this year and it seems like there's a fair share of peaches, which is good. Close did we? Toes. Toed shoes. I just oh yeah. Got oh yeah. By Make sure you have the closed toed shoes. Did we plant a peach tree yet? Yes, we, did. we did plant one. Hopefully, hopefully ours will be looking like this sometime. Back in here? I, I can. You're going for it? I'll go for it. I'm going for that guy, right? Oh, there. that the forbidden fruit up there? Yeah. You don't go for low hanging. <laughs> oh, wait, what's this guy? Oh, did you find a good one? Oh, it yeah. looks decent. It looks really good, decent. Oh yeah, that looks that looks solid. Does it have the butt crack? Yes. Yep. I think we're on to something. It should use safety glasses around here. Can you reach it or do you need me? No, I don't, I don't know that that one's good yet. Okay. Maybe well, don't waste. No, no, I'm not going to grab it. It's kind of fun in here. It's like a little, <laughs> little jungle. This definitely reminds me of James and the Giant Peach. Right? Yeah. Just make note, this is a five pound bag right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six peaches in there. You can see the golf cart down there where they take you to do other items we will do blackberries too i think we're gonna say we're good with the peaches so far there's some more parking this way kite flying and if we look here butterfly house blackberries and kite flying to the right and we just came from the peaches oh yeah blackberries this way over here is the butterfly encounter butterflies and then up here photo area and flower picking but we are here for blackberries hello and then we do weigh these okay so, got it Have a mushroom up. awesome thank you, thank you. You're welcome. blackberries yeah we do have a blackberry plant well, let's just dig in Oh, look at that one. Hidden under yep. the leaf. Yep, do you see? I do see. Those are big. I don't know if you could hear her, but you they weigh it, so you don't have to fill the whole thing up. I like very... Right here? Like, look. That one? And then there's one down here, too. Look at this one. Oh yeah, they have some pretty good sized blackberries here. Look at those. Seems like the further you go down, the better they are. Like people don't go all the way down because look at these. That's a good haul. Some very good blackberries over here and peaches. I think we're about maxed out on both. So what we might do is go up to the front, look around their little like farmer's area and then um, see how much this costs. So this is the little road we just came down. You can see over here, that's where you pay for everything. 
very good haul. Definitely get out while it's still early. Make note that the other side has peaches. Here they have peach and blackberry ice cream. Huh. And some ice pops. 32 ounce lemonade entrance. Diana's lemonade. They do have some seating over here you can relax at. Um, got some jams, jellies, shirts. Vidalia onion and cucumber dill. It does sound good. Nice. Some peach salsa, medium peach salsa. It actually sounds really good. I don't know if you can see the prices or not. Kind of hard to see there. Really good. We're going to try that. They also have over here, where was the peach? Where's the peach? Oh, peach bourbon barbecue sauce. Peach honey? $38. We did get some um, dressing and some salsa. This food truck has wings, tenders, hot dogs, burgers, fries. Going to try a blackberry first. Mm, this one right here. Oh yeah, you got a good one. Good? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That might be the ba best blackberry I've ever had. That was very good. If I recall, these are pretty juicy. Mm -hmm. Just the flavor's so good. Mm -hmm. Sorry if you hear the air, we have it blasting right now. But that was our trip out to Graham's You Pick Farm here in Umatilla solid mm -hmm. every time we've gone peaches have been great blackberries some of the best blackberries i've ever had yeah i enjoyed it it was really really good mm -hmm. i would recommend coming out a little early don't wait till the end of the season one it gets hotter here in florida and two there's not as much to pick from but it seems like they're really growing and trying to make it a, a bigger farm with the uh, extra activities they've added mm -hmm. overall great spot agreed, agreed. with that being said that does it for today. Thanks for watching.